Okay, we have an example here. Uh, please have a look at this example for a uh, few seconds and then we will solve it together. Okay, so uh, it's a very simple uh, example that uh, I'm sure most of you already find the, you could already find the the answer. Okay, use the six tenths rule. What does it mean? Six tenths. It means n equal to zero point six. To estimate the percent the percentage increase in the percentage percentage cost when the capacity of the piece of equipment is doubled. So we want to calculate the the the, uh, the price of a piece of equipment. Okay, that uh, uh, we don't know what equipment. We don't care. We, the only thing that we know is that the the the, the capacity. Let's say the flow rate. The power, whatever it is, is double. It means A E over A A A over A B is double. It's two. Okay. So we have this equation. C A over C B is A A A over A B and power is zero point six. So what we will find here, we will find C A over C B is equal to from this equation, we will find 1.52. Okay, so before it was 1, okay, when the capacity was the same, if you put the capacity 1 here, 1 over 1, if you see A over C B. Okay, before that the capacity was the same, so this uh, ratio was 1, now this ratio is 1, 1.52. Okay. So how much difference there is, how much percent, to find the percent, we will, we will have to use such an equation. The new value minus the previous value divided by previous value times 100. That gives you 52%. So when we, for that equipment, if I, for whatever equipment it is that I don't know that the power is 0 0.6, if I double the capacity, the price will increase 52%. The important, the important message of this example is that if I double my capacity, the price of equipment, it doesn't increase necessarily two times. Okay, it only increases 50%. It doesn't increase 100%, right? It doesn't get doubled. So that means they have that, that, that the reason is because the cost, the cost and capacity, they have an exponential, exponential uh, relation, okay? not a linear relation. So, and we can say, in general, we can say the larger the equipment, the lower the cost of equipment per unit of capacity. Okay, so when we increase the, the size of the equipment, the capacity of the equipment, the cost increase, but the cost per Capacity is less. Okay, the cost per capacity is less. So here, uh, for example, uh, if I have a equipment, so let's say the exchanger, previously it has uh, it had an area 100. Now I want to build the uh, heat exchanger that has the area of 50. The previous price was 92. If I uh, if I uh, if I make the area of the exchanger half of the initial area, the price doesn't get necessarily half. Okay, the price decreases, but it doesn't get half. Okay, or vice versa. If I increase the area, the, the price doesn't get doubled. Okay, it increases, but it doesn't get doubled. So that is called the economy of we call it the economy of scale. Okay. Uh, 
100 square meter center is not necessarily twice as expensive as the 50 square meter based on what you see in this equation. Then, uh, okay, example two. Compare the error for the scale up of Okay. Compare the error for the scale up of a heat exchanger by a factor of 5 using the 6, okay, uh, system root in the place of uh, cost exponent given in table. List. Okay, so compare the error in the scale up of a heat exchanger by a factor of 5. Okay, so you want to scale up a heat exchanger by a factor of 5. So the new area. The new capacity or the new area is five times bigger than the previous one. Okay. So he's asking you once use the six tenths rule. Okay. It means once use n zero point six and once go to table five three and find the n from that table. Let's go to that table. To see what we have. Okay, for in from that table for the heat exchanger share and two carbon steel for this capacity n is 0 0.59, a little bit less than 0 0.6. So once we have to use 0 0.6 and once we have to use the value from the table. If I use if I use the one 0 0.6, so and then I use this equation. The cost ratio, which means, which means CA over CB, if I use 0 0.6, I have the area, the ratio of the area, power 0 0.6, it gives me 2.62. This is the cost ratio. Once, if I go use the one which from table, which is a bit more accurate, I will get 2.58, which is not a big difference, right? Which is 2.58, it's not much different from this one. The error between these two calculations is how much the new va the value from 0 0.6 minus the value from 0 0.59 here divided by value from 0 0.59. That gives you almost 2% error which is really acceptable.